the member's statement. The member from Halton. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, as we near the end of February, I'm pleased to rise today to share some of the great experiences I've had in celebrating Black History Month. There have been countless events and celebrations taking place throughout the province, and I've been fortunate to attend a number of them in my Halton riding. On February 5th, I was invited by the Canadian Caribbean Association of Halton to attend a Black History Month kickoff celebration at Oakville Town Hall. In addition to the creative exhibits put on by the Oakville Museum, Sheridan College, and the Association of African Canadian Artists, attendees were treated to some incredible music, musical performances by Beyond Sound and Jazz Duo, Diana Braithwaite and Chris Whiteley. Then, on February 9th, I visited a local school to watch what was an inspiring and thought-provoking documentary, The Last White Knight. Directed by Canadian Paul Saltzman, it was a remarkable tale of reconciliation and civil rights history, inspired by actual events during the early 1960s. And just this past Tuesday, I joined the Premier, fellow caucus members, and a number of special guests for a memorable reception right here at Queen's Park. Mr. Speaker, events like these are a valuable reminder of the vital role that diversity, acceptance, and justice play in our province's strength and prosperity. It's important for us all to reflect on the history of Ontario's black community, to acknowledge the struggles and hardships endured by so many. Holding month-long celebrations help us to remain mindful of our difficult past, to appreciate past and present contributions. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker.